Welcome back to Whisper Gaming ASMR. And if you're new here, I have two versions of all my videos. One with quiet gameplay audio and one without. So if you'd prefer to watch the other version, it is linked at the top of the video description below. But if you're returning to my channel, you'll notice that things look a little different today. I just picked up a ROG Ally, and I wanted to make some videos of playing games on it. So, as you can tell, I'm going to be playing Minecraft in this one. And, if you couldn't tell, I have a few mods and shaders installed. So I have Silders, Shader Pack, Vibrant Shaders. I think this is the medium version. It might be high actually. And I also have Controllable installed so I can use a controller with the Java version. But yeah, so thought I would give you a little Minecraft gameplay. Also, you get to see my hands, the most I've ever been in one of my videos. And just, whoa. And just kind of get to see how the ally looks, how it plays, things like that. I actually picked it up the day it came out. I think that was last Wednesday, so I've had it for a few days now. But, I haven't had much time to play it. Um, this is my first real day of playing it before this. I have, um, basically spent all my time kind of setting it up. Uh, last night, I wanted to play some games, but I think I spent about two or three hours trying to figure out how to get all these mods installed and to get Minecraft working. I could figure out how to get the shaders installed, but I was struggling to um, figure out how to keep the shaders installed and get the controllable mod installed. But as you can see, I finally got it working. I almost gave up and used the Windows Edition. Kind of want to go down there, but I don't have any supplies yet. I need to get some wood. Um, I almost used the Windows Edition just so I could use a controller and not use any mods, but it seems terribly optimized for this device. It looks way worse. I was only getting like 20, I think 22 FPS. And with this, even with the high shaders, I think I'm getting close to 60. Also, I've not played. Okay, hopefully I'll be able to maybe see this and come back to where this is, if this doesn't kill me. Um, I haven't played Minecraft with a controller in quite a while. Also, I haven't really played Minecraft in a while. So, this gameplay might be a little rough. I also might sound a little different because I'm using a different microphone than I usually record with. This is actually a much more expensive microphone than I typically use. Um, it's a Sennheiser something. Uh, I'm trying to look at it upside down. 2200 SE or something like that. I bought it a couple years ago. I think it's like $400 because I thought I was going to get into voice acting, which never ended up happening. But now I can use it for ASMR. But that sound you're hearing in the background is the fan of the ROG Ally. And I hope it's not too loud in the recording. Um, it's much louder on microphone than in person when I'm playing playing games typically, I don't even notice the sound. Wow, I've never 
never been to like a desert biome before. I've never seen a, a village or settlement like this. Or a camel. I didn't even know camels were in this game. Looks like I gotta turn them down. Wow, this menu of sound is very loud. It's much more sensitive too. I can kind of hear my upstairs neighbors through. Through the microphone, so I hope that all this ambient sound isn't too much. This is my first time. Why are they so why are the villagers so loud? They make the most annoying sounds possible. Friendly creatures, players, hostile creatures, speech, I nice speech voice off. I don't even know what they'd be under. Is it racist to assume that the villager is considered a creature? I'll turn the whole sound down a little bit. So far, what little I've got to play with the RGL I have enjoyed. Um, it's pretty powerful for a handheld especially. Way more powerful than like a Switch. I've never used a Steam Deck, but um, from what I've read, it's definitely more powerful than a Steam Deck. It does seem like the Steam Deck really excels at low power, though. Whereas this, if you turn down the power to get better battery life, um, the performance drops quite a bit. But as long as you have it at like the top setting, so far it's worked pretty well with most things I've tried. And I don't really play games outside the house. I don't know. I feel self-conscious. Like, I live in New York City, but I'd probably never play this thing on the subway. Or on the ferry or anything. So I got it mostly just to, like, play on the couch or play in bed or, you know, just have the convenience of portability. But so far, every time I play it, I have uh, had it plugged in, so the performance has been pretty good. Wow, there are no trees. At all. Where am I supposed to get wood? Yeah, this isn't going to be very engaging gameplay, I don't think. This is mostly just me showing off what this looks like. If there's a source of wood in the desert that I don't know about, please drop it in the comments and educate me so I know for next time. God, I hope I don't run into monsters. All I have is sand and cart tracks. Okay, I got some lava down there. Let's go see how the lava looks. I will say that the RG Ally does take a bit to get set up, though. Or at least for me. Like, not all the games work perfectly as soon as you set them up. I really want to try this game, Battle Battle Bits Remastered, I think it's called. It's like a voxel-based FPS, kind of like Battlefield, but Minecraft graphics. That's the best way I could describe it. But I cannot get to work with the controller, even though it has controller support. So I haven't been able to play that yet. I know some people have been having issues with Diablo 4. I haven't bit the bullet and bought that yet. I might pick it up if it ever goes on sale. I thought the beta was okay, but I don't know. It just seemed a little repetitive. And I'm a really big Diablo fan. I played a lot of Diablo 2 when I was younger. And then I played quite a bit of Diablo 3. But, I mean, 
Diablo 4 seems good, but I played a Druid in the beta, which I have all those videos on this channel if you want to go check them out. But after playing it for a few hours, I realized I was literally just clicking, clicking two buttons over and over. So, wow, this game looks beautiful on this handheld. I don't know if the uh, recording does it justice. I also can't tell if it's my iPhone screen that's dirty or the ROG screen that's dirty. Um, the ROG screen is a touch screen, so it gets smudged up a lot. I probably should have wiped it down before this video. But for a lot of things, like you saw when I was adjusting those sliders, you're going to want to use your finger. And then it just yeah picks up the fingerprints like crazy. There's so many like mines and stuff. I want to explore them, but I literally have no supplies. Wow. Minecraft does not look like this on the Switch. Um, I've played a little Star Wars Battlefront, well, Star Wars Battlefront 2 on this. For some reason, it wouldn't let me connect to the EA servers. I repaired the game, but I haven't, I don't know, actually. I uninstalled Star Wars Battlefront 2 last night so I could install Grand Theft Auto 5. But at least on the single player, I played against AIs in Star Wars. And it seemed to work pretty seamlessly. I need to get some food. Um, and I did try out a little Grand Theft Auto online last night just to make sure it works. And that also seemed to run pretty well. I only played it for a couple minutes. But it played really well. Um, so... I plan to... I plan to make a video of playing Grand Theft Auto on this as well. And I've played a couple rounds of Deep Rock Galactic. And yeah, that's worked seamlessly. That's probably the game I'll use this for the most. And... Oh god. Now I'm just waiting for controller support for Baldur's Gate 3, because that's a game I could play on this a lot. What do you do when you spawn in the desert? There's literally no trees. These aren't trees, I think this is more sugar. But we'll check it out just in case. Yeah, those are, oh, is that a tree up there? Yeah, I really want to play Baldur's Gate 3 on this. Um, I've downloaded Emu Deck and installed some emulators right now. I just have Nintendo 64 and GameCube games on it. Um, it took a little bit to get them running, but I've tried a few of each and they seem to work well now. I might also record some videos of that, I was thinking of doing Pokemon Stadium 1 and 2 and maybe some Pokemon Snap and some classic Mario or Zelda games finally a tree and a lot of creepers, hopefully they don't see me Let me know if you like this game format, or if you like this format of video of me playing the ROG Ally. I will admit I am kind of trying to chase the algorithm a little bit. ROG Ally videos seem to be really hot right now. I've seen a lot of channels blow up just from posting videos of the ROG Ally, so I am hoping it'll help me grow. 
grow this channel a little bit, but it also gives me an excuse to finally play this thing. Um, one downside I'll say is the default um, size capacity.
go make some pork chops, eat, and then call it a day. Apologize if this video has been a little rough. It's a new format, and I haven't recorded one of these videos in a little bit. I've had such a backlog that I've been working on editing those, and I haven't been recording much. I just got back from a, a week-long work trip a few days ago, and then I had my birthday, so it's been a busy few days. It's the first day I've really had a chance to relax, and I'll just play some games and record. Okay, let's see if we can find a furnace somewhere. I bet one of these villagers has bread as well. Do they get mad if you steal their stuff? I've never known if it's bad to do that or not. Until next time. 